Hey everybody, so I just want to make a very important video that I think I, I should have made a long time ago, but I'm going to make now. And it's the idea of telling you guys to be careful when investing in third-party projects on Pulse Chain or any blockchain because they're very, very risky. Now, I've had many projects on my channel that are third-party projects. I champion the idea of being the platform that people go to that third-party projects go to, to give the community their perspectives on what they are doing and to provide transparency to the community thereof as a result. It doesn't mean that all third-party third projects will succeed that have come on my channel. It doesn't mean that third-party projects that haven't come on my channel will succeed. It means that some of them, or many of them, may not succeed. Some or many of them may not perform. Some or many of them will perform, maybe. I'm not sure. But what I will say to you is that I don't have a crystal ball. And I don't know what projects will perform and what won't. But what I can show you is percentage-based analysis on the totality of the projects on Pulse Chain and the percentages that have been abandoned, rugged, or scammed. So, let's get started. Out of the 180 projects on Pulse Chain, about 9.5% of them have been abandoned. Okay? And this is very important information for you guys to know. Now, we're gonna add we're gonna go to rugged. Eleven divided by one eighty is six point one percent. Okay? So six point one percent of projects have rugged. Dodeca was a popular one. Chaos first, Pulse Abides, abides, for example. No one knew that Pulse Abides was going to rug. Okay, he was in the community for a long time. And Chaos first, many people didn't think that this was going to rug. And I want to put this in perspective. This sacrifice alone, I've been told, Chaos first, raised 300 grand. That's a lot of money, especially in a bear market. You guys have to be careful with what you're sacrificing in. You have to be. Like, I'm telling you this as someone who interviews third party projects and tries my best to. To vet these projects but i'm not going to be able to get all of them and that's why it's so important for you guys to also do your own research and make your own presumptions or presumptions yes presumptions or conclusions on whether or not you should invest in these tokens or sacrifice for them and this is a ubiquity on every single chain to make that clear whether you're going on ethereum or binance or whatever you have to be careful what you're investing in so scam three divided by 180 is about 1.6%. Now, when you add up abandoned and rugged, 31 divided by 180 is about 17%. So by that rationale right now, 17% of all projects that were launched on Pulse Chain were either abandoned, rugged, or scammed. Now, let's go to the, let's go to the ratio of how many projects are active. So, completed, 53 divided by 180 is 30%. Completed, 12 divided by 180 is 6.6%. So we have these projects that are completed. And then usable. So we have 60 divided by 180 is 33%. Okay? So... I want to make this very, very important notion to you guys is that just because these projects, I'm not saying any of them specifically, just because a project is usable does not mean that the project will perform in the end. Just because a project is active does not mean that the project will perform in the end. I've interviewed many of these projects. I am not saying that some of these projects will not perform. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, is you need to be careful. Okay? So, when we do active, usable, and completed, 125 divided by 180 is 70%. Okay? So, 69.4 to be exact. Whereas, according to this, abandoned, rugged, and scam, 
is about 18%. 18% may not sound like a lot, but you don't want to be in that 18% category if, God forbid, you sacrifice in a project that's either rugged, a scam, or abandoned, or even completed, and then nobody cares about it anymore. Or even an active project. You guys need to be careful with what you're doing. Because this is a pretty long list of projects that were either abandoned, rugged, or deemed a scam. Okay? And more projects are going to keep coming on and coming on and coming on. This is not going to be the end to this number of these three. Just like active, completed, and usable is not going to be the end. So I'm telling you guys, like, if you're going to go into third-party projects, like, just be careful. Because 31 projects being abandoned, rugged, or scammed, even if I just go with rugged and scam, divided by 180, is still, according to this, 7.7%. And that's still almost one-tenth of projects right now. So, if we go by almost that logic, where it's almost one-tenth, let's just say 8%, okay? So, 8% right now are deemed scammed, rugged, based on this website. Let's say a 1,000 projects come on, okay? And let's say we do the interview of 90 projects times a 1,000, divided by a 1,000. That's 100 projects. That's 10%. That could be a rug or a scam. Again, I'm speculating based on the numbers I have right now in percentages. But you guys got to be careful. And even projects that are active or completed, that doesn't mean that they're going to perform in the end. And I've interviewed a lot of these projects and I support some of these projects, not financially, but I have given them accolades publicly. And I'm hoping that they continue to perform and prove themselves. But it doesn't mean that in the future they will. You guys have to be careful. You have to be careful. Many projects right now that had sacrifices haven't launched because they have audits. They have things I understand completely. So don't discount them at all. But understand that there are projects out there, and there's about 18% of them almost, that were either abandoned, rugged, or scammed. Or if you just even use this number, 10% ended up being rugs or scammed. You don't want to be in that 10%. So please, please, please be careful with what you invest in, be very careful with the tokens that you go into because you don't know what's going to happen. Eat, and that's not, and, and that's for every cryptocurrency. Be careful, do your own diligence, don't be dumb, be careful, and make sure to find transparency. Make sure to value transparency when it comes to sacrifices or projects. Make sure to constantly look, if you can, the code. Check out Pulse Police because they try to they try to audit the things themselves and they do a great job. And I think you guys just need to be careful when aping into things. So I just wanted to tell you guys that. I hope you guys are well. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys today.